Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 166 Initial Formation of the Team There are only two, Water Buffalo and myself. Everyone has their own opinions, so I can't demand this of them. Fire Dance nearly choked on her words after hearing Yi Feng's excited tone. Two people? That's not too bad. Sure Feng lightly laughed. Do you guys have anything you need to do right now? If not, you can join me. In reality, Sure Feng did not particularly mind the matter with Fire Dance's teammates. Previously, Fire Dance mentioned that her teammates were not ambitious and that they were only casual players in God's domain. Hence, it was best for Sure Feng if all of these people did not join him. It would save him a lot of trouble. He also did not need to waste time on training them. I don't have anything else to do here. Water Buffalo and I will meet you. Previously, Fire Dance had worried that she would disappoint Yi Feng with the news. However, after listening to his relaxed tone, she could not help but sigh in relief. After disconnecting the call, Fire Dance and Water Buffalo bade farewell to everyone else. They did not know when they would meet again. Ha! I truly can't understand her. Why is she so obsessed with that guy? An assassin in leather armor said after Fire Dance departed. He could not help but sigh. I'm also very curious about that Yi Feng. Just what is so good about him? If she becomes Marshall Union's enemy like this, by the time we enter White River City, she might very well still be in hiding in this town, not daring to leave. Would there even be a meaning to such a gaming life? The team members that chose to stay behind voiced their confusion, one after another. Meanwhile, at the Fountain Plaza of Red Leaf Town, although it was still daytime in God's domain, the benches that decorated the plaza were currently overcrowded with players. All around, one could see couples flirting with each other. The scene was the complete opposite of a battlefield. Big Brother Fong, sorry for making you wait. Upon her arrival to the Fountain Plaza, she discovered Yi Fong enjoying the breeze as he waited for someone. No worries. All our members are finally here now. In the future, we will all be members of the same team. Let me introduce you all, then. Sure Fong smiled as he started introducing each of the team members. There were a total of six members present, excluding himself. The Guardian Knight, Cola, the Oracle, Drowsy Sloth, the Summoner, Gluttonous Mouse, the Cleric, Violet Cloud, the Assassin, Fire Dance, and the Berserker, Water Buffalo. With all six of them, they could be a standard dungeon party. Fire Dance, being level 9, was the highest leveled player amongst them. Following her was Violet Cloud and Water Buffalo, who were both at level 8. The remaining were all level 7. Looking at how Violet Cloud had raised herself to level 8 just through cooking, the effort and suffering she had gone through were obvious. If it were not for Sure Feng's stern command, Violet Cloud would not intend to go out to grind at all. She rather preferred continuously cooking and earning money. When Cola and the others saw Fire Dance's level, admiration filled their hearts. Moreover, she was also a great beauty. They only reached level 8 with Sure Feng's guidance. Even if Marshall Union had not killed them, sending them back to level 7, they would only be level 8. They were still far from level 9. Moreover, Fire Dance's equipment was extremely high quality. She also possessed a few pieces of secret silver equipment, while the others were mysterious iron. One could see that Fire Dance was definitely an expert, far more amazing than themselves. As for the one who managed to recruit such an expert beauty into the team, Cola and the other two could not help but Five Sure Feng a thumbs up. This was as expected of their leader. As for Sure Feng's level, nobody in the team could discern it. As Sure Feng had hidden his information with the demon mask, the others could only see unknown. However, nobody felt concerned about his actions. Sure Feng constantly felt like a mysterious expert to them, so it was only natural that they could see his identity. Big Brother Yi Feng is amazing as expected. We've only been apart for half a day, yet the pressure you give off has massively increased. After Fire Dance met Yi Feng again, she could clearly feel that he was different from before. He was like an unsheathed sword, and her six senses told her that Yi Feng had become much stronger. Since everyone is familiar with each other now, 
I'll tell you guys what you need to do next, Sher Fong said formally. However, just as Sher Fong was about to reveal their goal, a group of players suddenly appeared and surrounded the Fountain Plaza. Marshall Union is dealing with an issue. All those uninvolved, leave immediately. Marshall Union's members chased away the other players, taking complete control of the Fountain Plaza. Yi Fong, you've made me look for you for a long time now, a scholarly youth said as he stepped out from the crowd. This was unstable devastation. There were over 400 members of Marshall Union crowding the Fountain Plaza. When Cola and the others saw all these players, they immediately panicked, their expressions turning solemn. What? You want to take action here? Sher Fong swept a glance over the players from Marshall Union. The majority of them were level 5 or level 6. Only a minority were level 8 or level 9 elites. How could I possibly be such a brute? I'm only here today to give you all a final warning, unstable devastation said with a smile. Last time, he had taken a huge loss because of Yi Fong. If he could, he really wished to kill Yi Fong now. However, they were right in the middle of town. If he killed Yi Fong here, he might implicate Marshall Union as well. However, if he mobilized a dozen or so players against Yi Fong, they would only be helpless against him, disgracing Marshall Union's reputation. This was not a result he wished to see. Warning. We've already reached the point of no return. Your warning holds zero meaning to me. It is only a bunch of nonsense, Sher Fong laughed. You are still so fearless, even when faced with so many of our members. I truly admire you for that. Unfortunately, your strength is limited. You are not an opponent for Marshall Union at all. My warning isn't actually directed at you. Unstable devastation clapped his hands, shifting his sights towards Cola and the others. He then coldly said, This time, my warning is for the teammates standing behind you. You all better come to your senses. If you sever your relationship with Yi Fong immediately, I assure you that I will not pursue past matters and let you all go. Of course, if you resolve to stand with the powerless Yi Fong, prepare to suffer the rage of Marshall Union. I admit that killing Yi Fong himself is extremely difficult. However, it is only a simple matter for Marshall Union to exterminate you all. Although unstable devastation smiled as he spoke, Cola and the others could only feel a deep chill from his words. They could not help but admit that unstable devastation's words sounded logical. They were not top tier experts, and they did not possess that many life saving skills that could help them escape. Although Marshall Union could not kill Yi Fong, that did not mean they could not get rid of them. As proven, they had died once before already. There would definitely be a second time in the future. If such a situation continued, they would not have a future in God's domain to speak of. Looking at the panicked and hesitant expressions on Cola and the others, Sher Fong spoke not a single word. He remained silent as he stood there. This move of unstable devastations was extremely vicious. He wanted Sher Fong to taste the betrayal of his closest friends. Not only would it reduce his overall power, but it could also become a hit to his heart. Unfortunately, Sher Fong was no longer the arrogant brat that he used to be. On the contrary, he wanted to use this plan of unstable devastations to refine the members of his elite team. In the future, the team he led would have to face off against many powerful foes. If they could not handle the challenge before them right now, how could they succeed in the future? Sher Fong did not desire teammates who only enjoyed the good times, but could not suffer through the bad with him. This could be Sher Fang's test for them. He wanted to see just what sort of choice they would make in such a situation. After quite some time had passed, Cola and the others exchanged glances with each other, smiles on their faces. They had all made their decisions and they all stood by Sher Feng's side without hesitation, having zero intentions of leaving. Cola, Drowsy Sloth, Gluttonous Mouse, and Violet Cloud were originally players who others looked down on. They lived at the very bottom of God's domain, and they only possessed the levels and equipment they had today because of Sher Feng's help. By becoming enemies with Martial Union at worst, they would only revert to their original states. So, how could they possibly betray Sher Fong in this sort of situation? As for Fire Dance and Water Buffalo, they had long since steeled their hearts to follow Yi Fong. 
They wished to experience the world of top-tier experts, and faced with such a threat, they paid no mind at all. Unstable devastation, even in death, we would never betray our leader. If you have the ability, then come. Kola laughed loudly as he looked at unstable devastation. Good. Very well said. Unstable devastation smiled with indignation, saying, Don't say that I never gave you a chance. This is something you've all chosen for yourselves, so don't blame me for not lacking courtesy. Boys, get them. Originally, Unstable Devastation thought that he could take this chance to shame Yifeng, turning him into a laughingstock. However, he truly did not think that these people would be so muddle-headed. They must have eaten something wrong to follow Yifeng so steadfastly. Otherwise, Yifeng must have shown a hopeful fantasy, letting them think that they still had a future. Since he was already here, he would not let Yifeng and the others escape and scathed. 